With just eight days to go, News 4 Jax is working to make sure voters get a clear picture of what goes on behind the scenes leading up to Election Day. Last week, we strongly objected when the canvassing board here in Jacksonville suddenly decided to ban our cameras for the first time ever during the board's review of questionable ballots. We had hoped the board would reverse or at least amend that decision today, but instead, the board postponed its meeting until tomorrow. News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett originally raised the objection along with the local Democratic Party. Jim is joining us live downtown at the Supervisor of Elections office with an update. Jim? You know, Tom, first let me explain what's happening here. It's an early voting site and it's also a place where you can drop off those vote by mail ballots. And those ballots, those drop, uh, mail ballots, are what in question because the camera ban is still in place. They have not changed it at this point, even though it was being considered this morning to make some consideration and possibly allowing us to show some of those questionable ballots. But they're going to be meeting again tomorrow. They canceled today's meeting and they could take it up with several other issues surrounding that. This is video questionable ballots from past elections in Jacksonville. At that time, we were allowed to show it to you. It doesn't show any signatures and no way of knowing who cast this ballot. And the reason we want you to see this is so you can understand why a particular vote was being thrown out, not counted. Now, members of the canvassing board are concerned that some signatures of voters might end up on our air, even though they're not supposed to be on a ballot. And in the past, we've agreed never to show them. This morning, the board was going to take up a measure of that recent ban. A proposal was going to be introduced by the board that would allow us to show you selected ballots so you can see how the board operates and determine voter intent. City Councilman and canvassing board member Michael Boylan proposed the compromise. Do you feel that you are being transparent? I am working really hard to make sure that we stay transparent through this process. I think what I think our greatest, my greatest concern is to make sure that there is a confidence on the part of the voters out there that we are sincere in the work that we're doing and we're doing it for the right reasons. But as the meeting was getting ready to take place, we were informed it was being canceled today and postponed until tomorrow morning. If you tried to do that today in a meeting and not know where all the dominoes may fall, then that's dangerous. And so we decided the best thing to do is just, let's go through everything uh, today. We're told several new plans are now being considered, but no word on what they might entail. We would hope that the end result of all of this action is a situation where these meetings can be recorded, as is required by the Florida Sunshine Law, uh, except for any private information like signatures. That seems like a reasonable compromise. It's hoped that they will present a plan tomorrow that will spell out what you at home are allowed to see. And once again, our attorney is working with other media outlets in order to try to come up with some solution to all of this, hopefully not take it to court, so you can see what's happening inside. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.